Good morning to each and every one. So I'll be presenting to you the Hamming Codes and Repetition. Hamming Code is a set of error correction codes that can be used to detect and correct the errors that can occur when the data is moved or stored from the sender to the receiver. It is technique developed by R.W. Hamming for error correction. The Hamming Code structure example here in below. The P represents the parity bit while D represents the data bit as you can see the picture below. It has a 7-bit structure. In determining the position of the parity bit, the position of the parity bit is to solve by using the provided formula of RW Hamming, which is 2 to the power of n where the n is equal to 0, 1, so forth. 2 raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1, 2 raised to the power of 1 is equal to 2, 2 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 4. They represent the value or the position, not the value, the position of the parity bit. So, note it will not exceed anymore since it is a 7-digit bit structure as you can see the picture below. We have P1, P2, D3, P4, D5, D6, D7. So, we have the parity bit and the data bit. So from the right side, we uh, there is a right picture as you can see and it is a pattern to determine the value of the parity bits. So for P1, P2, and P4, so in determining the value of parity bits, P1 is dependent on D3, D5, and D7. P2 is dependent on D3, D6, D7 and P4 is dependent on D5, D6, D7. So for example, a sender gives a 4 data 1011 to our receiver. Determine the value of parity bits. So as you can see in the table below, P1 and P2 and P4 has no value digit. So in order to find is we, in determining the value of parity bits as, uh, as I said earlier, so for P1 is D3, D5, D7. So for D3 it has one digit. D5 is it is it has one digit and D7 has one digit. So so there are three ones, so the number of ones is odd. It is an odd parity. Then therefore P1 is equal to one, same as goes for P2 and P4. So P2 has so for P2 is dependent on D3, D3 is 1, D6 is 0, and D7 is 1. So it is an even parity since they are, there are two ones, so the number of ones is even. Therefore, P2 is equal to 0, same as P4. There are two ones, so the number of ones is even. Therefore, P4 is equal to 0. So the final sequence of the sender to the receiver is this. 101010101. One, so, if the receiver has received the transmit data from the sender, it has noise added to the data that is transmitted. How can we detect an error? If the parity values of P2 and P4 are even, that means all two are even, then all, no errors. So, this is the data that is received from the sender, the table below it. So, we have 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So how can we detect the error? So the original sequence on the left side of the of the screen, we have the original sequence of the data that will be transmitted to the receiver and the date uh, the table orange is the the received data of the receiver. So how can we detect the error? P1 is equal to 1, P2 is equal to 0, P4 is equal to 0. That is the original parity value digits and the original transmit data. And next is P1 is equal to 1, P2 is equal to 1, P4 is equal to 1. And this is the data that is received from the receiver. So if the parity values of P2 and P4 are even, that means all two are even then no errors. So therefore, the data that was transmitted to the receiver has an error and the parity values of P2 and P4 
is an error. Redundant bits are extra binary bits that generated and added to the information carrying bits of data transfer to ensure that no bits were lost during the data transfer. So the number of redundant bits can be cal calculated using the following formula. 2 to the power of p is greater than m plus p plus 1, where p is, is redundant or parity bit and m is the, mes or the data or message bit. For example, number 1. Suppose the number of data bits is 7, then the number of redundant bits can be calculated using 2 to the power of 4 is greater than 7 plus 4 plus 1, and it is 16 over 12. Thus, the number of redundant bits is, is equal to 4 bits greater than 12. Example number 2. Suppose a binary data 1001101 is to be transmitted. To implement Hamming code for this is by calculating the number of redundancy bits required since the number of data bits is 7. The value of R is calculated as 2 to the power of R is greater than M plus R plus 1 and 2 to the power of 4 is greater than 7 plus 4 plus minus 1. So therefore, the number of redundancy bits is equal to 4. Given the Hamming code received as 1110000, determine the corrected code when event parity is there. So I chose method 2 since it is simple. So for P1, for the value of P1 is 0 and P2 is 0 and P4 is 0. The, so the values of P4, P2, and P1 is not it has or has no error because the values are 0 and the number of 1 as the result is none. However, if only the values of P4, P2, and P1 is equal to 1, then there is an odd parity and the value of P4, P2, and P1 is 1, 1, 1. That is, there is an error because the number of 1s in the value is odd. So we convert the binary number with the parity bits 111 to decimal number. The decimal value of 111 is, as you can see in the picture above, you have 1 plus 2 and plus 4 is equal to 7. So the bit error is in the bit 7. Therefore, we can now change the bit under 7 from 0 to 1. The corrected code now is 1110001. So, example number 4. Generate the Hamming code for the message 1110. So, this original message is not yet received. So, in order to determine the value of P that satisfies the inequality, is 2 to the power of P is greater than or equal to P plus M plus 1 by using a trial error, where M is the message bits and it is equal to 1110 and is equal to 4 bits and P is equal to parity bits, the value of P in the, in the equality. So as you can see in the picture below, we use a trial and error method. So last, in the if p is equal to 3, then 2 to the power of 3 is greater than or equal to 3 plus 4 plus 1, so it, it is equal to 8. Then 8 is equal to 8, then p is equal to 3 satisfies the inequality. Therefore, in transmitting 4 message bits, we require p3, that means 3 parity bits are needed, as you can see in the picture. Yeah, as you can see in the right side of the picture, the Hamming code is equal to the 4 message bits plus the 3 parity bits in time of transmission. To check in the following table, as you can see, there's a table. For even par parity transmission, as you can see, we have 1100, 1100, 1100. So, as you can see, they are even parity. So, so for P1 is equal to 0, P2 is equal to 0, P3 is equal to 0. So therefore, P1, P2, and P3 is equal to 0. So in the table, 
in the table in the left side as you can see the humming code for even transmission is zero zero one zero one one zero so for odd parity transmission we have so p1 is equal to 1 p2 is equal to 1 and p3 is equal to 1 so therefore p1 is equal to 1 p2 is equal to 1 p3 is equal to 1 so as you can see in the table below the hamming code for odd transmission is one 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 zero so the next topic that i will discuss is repetition so repetition of code happens sometimes one code may be repeated for every data bit in multiple times and can be checked if it was sent correctly for instance the data bit to be sent is one and n is equal to three repetition code will send one 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 if the three bits received are not identical an error occurred during transmission if the channel is clean enough most of the time only one bit will change in each triple therefore 001 010 and 100 each correspond to a zero bit well 110 101 and 011 respond to a one bit with the greater quantity of digit that are same indicating what the data bit should be a code with this ability to reconstruct original original message in the presence of error is known as a an error correcting code sorry for that and that this triple repetition code is a hamming code with m is equal to 2 since there are two parity bits and 22 minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 data bit so that would be all. Thanks for listening. Godspeed.